Finally, he's Port Isaac's resident GP, whose bedside manner leaves a lot to be desired. Martin Clunes talks about the return of Doc Martin tonight and his return to the Cornish coast. Now, if you two dream of a place by the sea, we have a selection of stunning beachside properties. I'm back in the AT garden with tips on turning your weeds into free booze. Plus, she's the student with a sensational voice and a number one classical album to boot. Laura Wright performs at the end of the show. But first, Bayek. She's the Lancashire lass who successfully made the transition from model to TV presenter. And she's a very generous one at that. She's currently giving away a fortune. Could you be one of the lucky recipients? We were unable to contact you and we appreciate the process and the policy for approximately 11,500. Yes! <laughs> They've got that one. No, they it? haven't. It is anticipated that your share of the proceeds will be... done. Yes. 10,500. 14,000 pounds right. is coming your way from your sister. So, how do you feel about that? Well, yes, it's fine, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fine. Please welcome Melanie Sykes. Well, even better now. Oh, what a lovely job. It's eh? been amazing. You're going to need your tissues when you watch this show, though, because it's going to make you cry, so, honestly. It's the premise of the show, obviously, is you find people who are due money, but they don't know they're They due know it. nothing about it. And there's about £15 billion in, in savings accounts and insurance policies that are unclaimed. So people have opened all these things for other people or for themselves, securing the future, and then have forgotten all about it. Or they've passed away and the paperwork wasn't there when the relatives were putting together, you know, the, the estate, etc. Um, so, yeah, they have no idea. And I knock on the door and say, hello, and we have a chat about the family member and then present the letter. It's just been amazing. What sort of sums are you giving them? Well, I say giving away, well, you're not. You're giving them giving what them they're back. due, giving them back. Yeah. So I mean, on average, it's about eight grand a, a door mm. knock. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, the most... The, the largest amount has been nearly twenty thousand pounds. That makes a heck of a difference in somebody's life. It certainly does. Yeah, it really, really does. And the reactions. Well, we saw some of them there, and one can imagine a lot of them. Have there been any surprising reactions? Well, what's been surprising? You always imagine that if people are going to get that sort of letter, that it's going to be a big, massive reaction. You know, ticker tape and a big woo. -hoo! But yeah. you know, people have quite a quiet reaction to it, um, and everybody is different as well. And also. Essentially, we're talking about a family member that's probably passed away recently. So it's quite a sensitive conversation mm. with a really beautiful ending and a really positive ending, but at the same time, you are dealing with a lot of emotions. And how many of these people are you getting into a single show? Well, I, well, it's, I think they're all slightly different, but I'd say about five or six people a show. I mean, yeah. there's, there are m many more cases to be cracked. This is just the tip of the iceberg, really. If you're thinking about 15 billion... It's a lot. Oh, I think we all need to have a think about what we open, look at some of our paperwork, because, you know, you get re the companies that the money has been left with as well, they do try and trace these people. You know, when I was tiny, my, my granny opened an account on the day of my birth at the Yorkshire Penny Bank. Yeah. It was then. And I think she put a pound in. And I've never taken it out, and I've lost the book, and I must you... ring the Yorkshire bankers yes. in the house and say, I'm sorry for that personal <laughs> note, but it's just reminded me. Yeah, well, that's, I think that's <laughs> the point of the show as well. As, as uh, Obviously, it's entertainment, it's, it's interesting, but it does prompt us all to... Look to at check what, out what's our hidden yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it doesn't go anywhere. The money doesn't go anywhere either. It literally just sits there. So it's just waiting to be to be claimed. Do any of them indicate what they're going to spend it on, how it's going to change well, their Well, you know, you get the classic, I'm going on holiday, I'm going on a cruise. But mainly, if people have children, they want to give it to their families and just share the wealth sort of thing. It's just been a really beautiful experience. I've enjoyed it so much. It's a long way to come from being the Boddington's girl. It you know, is, the girl in Bayek who pulled the pies. I know. I can't believe it. I Because I've been modelling for 10 years when I got that advert and as soon as it went on air um, I just got loads of phone calls from TV companies saying we auditioned for this we auditioned for that and I'd never spoken to camera before so big reaction to this character I was playing but it turns out obviously I'm that girl anyway <laughs> so um, yeah and I just kept going for auditions and kept getting the jobs and I've just it eclipsed my modeling basically well were you a natural model I mean did you did you take to it like a doctor water or did you find a lot of models say it's very boring well I was I was um, 
I, I enjoyed meeting everybody and traveling and you you meet some you met somebody new every day was a different scenario but in terms of taking it to a doctor water I wasn't I was quite shy really and I'm still a bit funny in front of cameras you know which is <laughs> stupid really my entire career has been in front of cameras but I, I saw it was a bit stiff sometimes couldn't move so well and but I, I grew up quite quickly in the industry and because I was quite green when I came to it as well, you know. Well, but, we all are. We all have to learn on the job, really. Exactly, and I did, and it was the making of me, to be honest. You've got to work with some legends. You know, you had that Des and Mel with, with yes, Des O'Connor. Yeah. Fun? Amazing fun. Five years of fun. Five years of Des yeah. and Mel. Yeah, and, and he's going in the West End. I spoke to him the other day. He's going to be doing the petticoat. What's it called? Dreamboats and petticoats. Oh, is he? He's going to, and he's doing every show and, and the matinees, the lot. The guy's got so much energy, he puts us all to shame. Has the West End escaped you yet? Has it eluded you just Well, I can't yet? sing or dance. So, oh. a bit of a problem there. Just go on there, Melanie, and <laughs> smile. You'll be absolutely <laughs> fine. Good luck with making people, well, if not millionaires, certainly cheering them up with a few grand. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Melanie Sykes.